Hi, this is Sunil Nanji, Senior Principal Solution Architect at Elastic. I'll be describing or discussing with you today uh, MinHash filters. I find it incredibly interesting. So there's a space where generative AI and semantic search make a ton of sense, right? Generative AI, if you ask a question, tries to find the semantic meaning of it and give, it generates an output. Semantic search basically says, what is your intent? Right? So if I'm asking a question like, go find me theme parks, it'll find you theme parks and maybe it get, finds you the most exciting roller coasters as well, right? Your intent. Minhash is different. Minhash is, I want to find similarity of documents based on my input. And I need that precisely. I don't want you to find intent. I'm not interested in intent. I need to find similarity in documents. So that's what MinHash token filter is, and it's well documented within Elastic. And I'll do a demonstration of how you can use MinHash filters to, again, find documents that are similar. To use MinHash filter, you have to create a mapping, right? And a lot of this is well documented. And you can see here that I have uh, my filters, and I'm using a shingle, and the min shingle is two and five. And I'm not going to really explain a lot, but shingles basically are uh, n-grams, right? In, in the minimum and the maximum size. And you can tweak this based on how similar or how accurate you want your document results to be. Um, and then again, we have the hash counts, how they're stored. And I'm using a stemmer uh, because I wanted to remove, you know, some of the clauses for my, for my text and then I add the property of my analyzer. So I've already created something called Sunman Dupe Docs, and I've created a couple of documents in here. Uh, the first document is Despite the Rising Sun, and blah, 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 and a couple different documents, right? And I want to now search upon those documents. This is where I find this pretty darn cool. So in this example, I want to find the sleepy town remained quiet. So let's see what shows up here. And when I run this, it finds three documents that are similar. And it says the sleepy town remained quiet. Fantastic. The sleepy town remained quiet over here. And Cabo never remained quiet. So fantastic. So I did find, and again, you might be asking, well, why did you find this last one? It's because if you go back to the shingles, remember the tokens, and it will find that. And when it finds a token, it will say, ah, we have found similarity in documents. So that's why this third one. And if you don't want this, you can tune this. And you can say, no, I want at least a minimum of three or four tokens to be found, or n-grams to be found within a token. So the next one is, let's do full-out drinking. And this is cool. It only returns one. Full-out drinking, obviously, within the, four, uh, the five documents I posted here. It, there's only one, Sleepy Town remained quiet after a day of full out drinking. And lastly, Looming Adventures. So I want to find all documents that have this, and it does, in fact, return that. So despite the rising sun, the Sleepy Town remained quiet. We get little sounds of Looming Adventures. Remember, the stem, I have Adventure and Adventure. So it stemmed it correctly. And again, signs of Looming Adventure were evident by these smiles on their faces. So what did I uh, demonstrate today? I demonstrated MinHash filter, and it is different than semantic search because semantic search is finding the intent of, of the ask. Here, I don't want it the, to go figure out my intent. I want it to find exactly the documents I'm looking for based on my input, and the inputs over here, the messages, and I want you to find the documents. So similarity right, of documents. Very important, distinct uh, differentiation from generative AI and semantic search. Thanks for watching. Hope that was helpful.